Are you guys ready to see what I got this week? I like beer cause it is good. I drink beer because I should. If there was a song to sing, I sing it and beer you bring. Alright guys, so I just got back from Las Vegas and we hit up several thrift stores, a couple video game stores. Didn't get much stuff, but I did get some cool things. Nothing really, like, extravagant. Nothing really super expensive. I actually didn't spend that much money out there in Las Vegas. But I did get some cool things, so let me show you what I got. First place that we hit up was Retro City Games. Over in the Boulder area, I want to say. Kind of like southeast of Las Vegas a little bit. But I picked up two games in there. And you know I was looking for some PS3 games. Because uh, I cannot wait to start playing online against other people. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I really can't wait to play this game right here. It's a greatest hits. Paid $7.99. Well worth it for me. Uh, Street Fighter 4. Hell yeah. I have only played this game a couple times at a buddy's house. Online, it was a lot of fun, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. The next game that I picked up for the PlayStation 2, I could have swore this thing was worth like 20 bucks. I don't know what the hell's going on, but apparently it's only going for like six, seven bucks, sometimes 10, 12 dollars. But I picked it up thinking that, um, you know, I scored good, I didn't have it, so I picked up Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> That was only six bucks. Let's complete. Disc is in really good condition. It's actually a lot of fun. So if you never played it, check it out. Uh, we went to a couple other places, didn't see anything. We hit up Gamers Paradise, which I have spent quite a bit of money in there, like Mighty Final Fight for 140 bucks, which has actually jumped up in price. So if you look, if you look at it now, 140 dollars doesn't seem all that bad. Uh, but I did pick up a Sega CD game inside there. I don't know anything about it, but it looked cool. It was only 10 bucks. Futuristic outer space type game. It is called Lodestar, The Legend of Tolly Bodine. Traveling in and it is a nice, clean case. The manual is like super clean. I had to get it for 10 bucks. Sega CD game. Why not? The disc is definitely fluffy approved. The next place that we hit up, we end up going over to the local Deseret thrift store. There really wasn't much in there, but I did pick up a DVD inside there that looked kind of cool for two bucks. I picked up an old movie called The Thing, starring James Arness. I have no idea who he is, but it looked cool, so I picked it up. The Thing. Get in the corner. Now hold this in front of you. Point nine. Needles hit the top. Definitely be looking forward to checking that one out. That's all I got over at the Desert Thrift Store. I just picked up one item. We ended up going over to a no another local savers. And this time I actually did find two items inside the store. The first thing that I picked up was for the Wii. It's going to be an upgrade for me. I actually have it already. But for four bucks it was definitely a great pickup. And that is NBA Jam. This goes for about 10 to 12 bucks, so not a bad pickup. Definitely a lot cleaner copy than the one that I have. So I will be putting my copy up on eBay if anybody is interested. But the other thing that I picked up, and I picked these up before, they actually sell pretty good. It's a Texas Instrument TI-81 for three bucks. I'm not sure if it works or not. It definitely needs batteries, but I figure what the hell, not a bad investment for three dollars. If it doesn't work, I only lost three bucks. All right, so we ended up hitting up one more savers for the day, the third one. And I actually didn't see this when I was walking around looking at stuff, but the OGP saw it, spotted it, and I was like, oh yeah, I could use that. And for three bucks, I picked up a wired PS3 controller, which I can use if somebody comes over so I can play some Street Fighter 4. Oh yeah. 
the last place that I that I actually found some stuff at was, was at a place called Buybacks, and they actually got a pretty good deal. Buy three games, get one free. So I actually did quite a bit of looking at all the stuff that they had, like games, DVDs, and picking up the ones that were actually worth the prices that they had, because a lot of the stuff that they have in there are actually overpriced. But I did find some stuff that was actually pretty good price. I'm pretty happy with this. I paid 55 bucks total for all four of these items. The first item that I picked up is really cool. It actually looks like an NES uh, box uh, for Mega Man. It is the, uh, the complete series on DVD. It's a four disc. It's got slip. This was $25.99 and it goes for about $30 to $35 bucks online. So that was a really a great deal. I actually love the, the labels on the disc. They look like NES carts, which is pretty cool. I have never seen any episodes of this cartoon. And there is 27 episodes. So that's that's kind of cool. Definitely glad to add this to my DVD collection. Oh, this one right here, I've actually been wanting to get my hands on. If you see people selling it, all the ones that are for sale on eBay right now, they're asking 30 and up for this really, really cool Steven Spielberg series that came out in the mid-80s, I believe it was, or maybe the late 80s. Um, and it's really disappointing because it was such a great series. They only brought out season one, and there was actually two seasons. Season 2 I don't think will ever come out, which kind of sucks because there was a lot of great episodes in Season 2. But I will definitely take Season 1 for $12.99. It opens up like a book. And inside is the DVDs. It is four discs for 12 bucks. You can't beat that. I cannot wait to watch these again. And then I actually picked up two games while I was inside there as well. One was actually an upgrade. And I was actually shocked to see this game actually went down in price. Because it was worth about 20 bucks not too long ago. And is now only worth like 10 to $12. I picked this one up for 12 bucks because it is a very, very nice clean upgrade. And a super minty for Goosebumps Horland. And I do mean minty. Minty, minty, minty. The other one that I got does not have the manual. The artwork is all chewed up on the top part. And uh, the disc is pretty scratched up. This was in pretty good condition right here. The game that I got for free, and I cannot wait to play it, is a PS3 game. It's actually a remastered game from back in the day. From the old NES games. And I'm hoping it's got the first one and the second one. I'm not sure... I know it's got at least the first one on here, but I hope it's got both. I hope it's got both. And that is Disney's DuckTales. It was an awesome game on the NES. I love the original one. The second one, not so much. Didn't play that one much. I haven't beat that one yet. But yeah, definitely looking forward to putting this game in and checking out the newer upgraded graphics because I've seen some gameplay and it does look like a lot of fun. That is what I got over at the buy bags. Yeah. So that's all I got out there in Las Vegas, but we did have a lot of fun out there playing some slot machines. And we played on the blackjack tables for a little while. I bet you're wondering how much money I came home with. Well, I came home with some money. But it was my money that I already had. Um, I actually did pretty good. The first slot machine that I went on the first night, I turned 20 bucks into $100. But then I started playing other machines and ended up giving up the money back, plus about 50 more bucks. So the first night I was actually down $50. Um, the second night I ended up losing 60 bucks. Yeah, so altogether I ended up losing about 110 bucks for, for, the, for the trip, which is not bad. $110 out there in Las Vegas. That's not bad in my book, but uh, it would have been cool to come back with some extra money, but it didn't happen. But I had a lot of fun anyways. As you guys know, I do have shirts available. If you guys are interested, Fluffy Gamer shirts, just like the ones these people bought, 
If you're interested, definitely check out the link that I will have down below and order yourself a shirt for $14.99 to $19.99. All right, well, that's going to do it. Again, I am your host. I am your boy. I am the round one. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs>